okay welcome back so in this video we are going to prove the identity matrix multiplied by a vector a will give the same vector a so that is it is nothing but identity matrix operating on a vector will give the same vector okay so we will try to uh, do this in terms of indication notation okay so previously we have discussed that uh, ei dot ej is equal to it is nothing but ei, EI dot ej is nothing but it is equal to delta ij we have discussed in the previous video so let us uh, move on with that we will we will continue from that okay so we know that ei dot ej is equal to delta ij so what is ei and ej ei ei and ej are the two mutually perpendicular unit vectors okay it is equal to delta ij delta ij is nothing but delta ij we know it is nothing but the identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 1 so it is nothing but the identity matrix i so now what i am going to do is we are going to take this identity matrix and operate it on a vector say aj so if we operate this i uh, if we operate the identity matrix on a vector what do we get we have it j and j it is the summed index and i is a free index so for this particular expression we get delta i1 a1 plus delta i2 a2 plus delta i3 a3 so what i have done is i have expanded this one on j so j is the uh, j is the summed index so i have expanded over j so now let us try to expand it over i okay so if we expand it over i so what are the equations which i will get is i am going to get say delta 1j aj okay because delta ij is delta ij aj is my equation so i am going to expand it over i so i am going to get three equations delta 1j aj and delta 2j aj and delta 3j aj so i will be getting three equations if i expand over expand it expand the equation on i so now if i expand this one over j i get delta 1 1 a 1 plus delta 1 2 a 2 plus delta 1 3 a 3 so similarly for this i get delta 2 1 a 1 plus delta 2 2 a 2 plus delta 2 3 a 3 similarly for this we get delta 3 1 a 1 plus delta 3 2 a 2 plus delta 3 3 a 3 so now if we add up these three equations what we get so this one goes to be zero because delta 1 2 is equal to zero this term goes to zero this term also it goes to zero so only the term left out is delta 1 1 a 1 which is equal to a 1 okay and here also this term goes to zero and the last term also it goes to zero so the only left out term is delta 2 2 a 2 so which is equal to a2 because delta 2 2 is 1 similarly here the first term goes to 0 the second one also goes to 0 so the left out is delta 3 3 a3 three. so which is equal to a3 okay so now i have a1 a2 a3 okay so putting this together I can write this one as a i a i okay so what i get is 
डेल्टा आईजे एजे ओके सो बिकॉज डेल्टा आईजे एजे इज द वन विच वी हैव एक्सपेंडेड डेल्टा आईजे एजे इज द वन विच वी एक्सपेंडेड ओके वी एक्सपेंडेड डेल्टा आईजे एजे एंड वी गॉट ए आई ओके इट इज इक्वल टू ए आई सो लेट अस चेक वेदर द इंड द इंडेक्स आर करेक्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू अवर इंडिशियल नोटेशन सो जे सी एस समड इंडेक्स ओके इट इज रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स इट इज रिपीटेड इंडेक्स and i is a free index it has to get repeated only once and it has to be repeated in all the terms so i is present in one term this one in the lhs and also in the rhs and j is present twice fine so it accept it is the this expression is acceptable okay so we cannot write this one as a j we have to write it as a i because j is a summed index okay we are not summing up a1 a2 and a3 It is a i is not equal to a one and a a one plus a two plus a three. A i, a i, it is not equal to a one plus a two plus a three. So a y is equal to a one separately, a two separately, and a three separately because i is the free index. Fine. So hence we have proved that. the identity matrix delta ij is identity matrix it is operating on a vector okay so delta ij it is an identity matrix this is identity matrix i and aj it is a vector operating on a vector aj say a and it is going to give the same vector a 